Oh. Hello. Good morning. I'm sorry that the lighting is awful. I should have probably done something about this. Uh, but I just wanted to do a quick little video. There we go. Um, just kind of enjoying a quiet Sunday morning with a kitty cuddled on my lap. Um, and I wanted to talk about a movie a little bit that I feel like kind of matches that theme, I guess, of just enjoying a quiet Sunday morning slash enjoying the quiet things of life. Um, I just recently finished watching Patterson, which is on Amazon. Um, so if any of you have Prime and are looking for a movie to watch, this is, I guess, my next recommendation. Um, Patterson features Adam Driver, who you may know as Kylo Ren from Star Wars. Um, and he's living in a small town called Patterson. Um, I forget where it is. It's like New Jersey or something. Um, but his character's name is also Patterson. Um, and the movie is basically him going through his daily life for the course of a week. Um, he's got a lovely little wife, and he's a bus driver. Um, Kitty's being silly, playing with my hand. So cute. Um, but anyway, so he works as a bus driver, so they just have this kind of quiet, relaxing life, and you get to watch it over the course of a week. Um, I really loved the setup of this film and how quiet was it was. Um, Patterson also, which spoke to my heart greatly, um, he's, he writes poetry. He's got his little notebook that he carries around and he just writes poems in it. And he doesn't necessarily want to publish them or anything. The impression I get is that he's just privately doing it for himself, just writing because he sees the poetry in life. And it's really beautiful. Um, it's a really quiet film. It was, for me especially, a really nice takeaway from the crazy action stuff of Hollywood that we get. It was nice to see a film that really felt like you're just watching someone's everyday life, but also getting to watch a little bit of the poetry in life. Um, as I mentioned, we've got um, our character whose name is Patterson, and he lives in the town of Patterson, so you get kind of some fun little poetic bits with that. Um, you've also got him and his wife. His wife is a bit more of a, like, I don't know, he's like an introvert style of an artist because he writes the poetry and just keeps it in his little notebook private to himself. And she is like an extroverted artist. She wants to learn the guitar. She does all this painting and interior design type of stuff for people to see and, you know, to kind of show her personality and things like that. So they're kind of a fun balance that way little bit poetic that he's quiet and reserved and she's a little more out there with the ways that they express themselves through their art. Um, yeah, I thought it was just really nice that way. Um, also, since we're living out like a week with them, um, it opens each morning with the two of them next to each other in bed. Um, and the first morning, his wife as he's waking up, says, I had this lovely dream that we had twins, and would you like it if we had kids and they were twins? And he's like, yeah, I think I'd like twins. And then throughout the film, there's kind of a little theme of him seeing twins everywhere. So, I mean, kind of those things that get brought to your mind, and then you just kind of see the repeats of them, which I feel like is a lot of the poetry of life. And so, yeah, it was just a really, really beautiful film, and I'm really glad I watched it. And I loved having just this quiet film to relax to, and that it didn't have to be big and flashy. There isn't even super much of a climax. I mean, I guess there sort of is a climax, but it's not traditionally what you would think of as a climax to a film. And it doesn't cause big waves or anything. Everything just keeps going nice and smooth, and the ending is really beautiful. He meets another poet right at the end who kind of inspires him to keep writing and things. It, it's, it's just a lovely movie. I highly recommend it, and I think that if you are in the mood for something a little more quiet, trying to take a break from all the crazy stuff that we see in Hollywood, Patterson is a great choice to go to. So yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Um, but yeah, 
So again, I'm just enjoying the quiet things in life, and I really enjoyed Patterson, and here I'm going to give you another shot of my little kitten on my lap, because that's how I'm enjoying my day, and it seems kind of nice and poetic to open and close with that. So let's do that. Other than him being a little silly in his cleaning right now. But there's the kitten. There he is. Hi, Binks. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's all I've got to say for now. Um, but yeah, this is the Umla Harper signing out.